How you doing? I'm Louis Camino with Enviroscape LA. We're here at our shop here in uh, Redondo Beach, and we're just kind of going through all of our drip irrigation stuff, and we're gonna do a quick tutorial. Um, there's many different components to irrigation system. We use two main types, and we'll go ahead and go over that very briefly um, for our drip irrigation. So the first one is when we're dealing with low flow applications under five gallons per minute. So under five gallons per minute, they do recommend using a special low flow valve made by Rainbird. To go along with that low flow valve is a filter that reduces pressure down to 30 PSI, as well as part of that filter is a pressure regulator, as well as a, a screen filter that is part of the valve. So this part just simply screws into your three quarter inch valve. You'd screw it in like so. And then from there, it would head out to the area that you're gonna irrigate. You'd connect your pipe, it would then head out to the area you're gonna irrigate. And this is recommended for under five gallons per minute. So for instance, if we're using the 0.6 gallons per hour at uh, 12 inch spacing, um, we could get up to 500 linear feet of that. Uh, however, you could not put all that uh, simply from start to beginning. You need to divide that up in different uh, zones. You don't want to max out probably about 325 feet linear feet from one point of connection. You need to divide up in different points of connections. Uh, I don't want to get too involved in that. I want to keep it simple, but there is some algebra involved. So again, this is our low flow valve. Five gallons per minute total is what this valve would go ahead and handle. An upsize from that is your regular Rainbird irrigation valve. If you notice, it's not a low flow valve. And the point of that is it's going to get connected into this particular uh, filter here. Now this filter, if you notice, has a yellow sticker and it reduces pressure down to 40 PSI. It has a pressure regulator in there as well as a regular uh, screen filter in here when it comes to purposes for cleaning. Now the point, the different size filter here indicates different flow. So when we size this valve in this particular zone, this is capable of handing anywhere from three gallons per minute all the way up to 15 gallons per minute. So this particular valve is gonna irrigate a zone that's gonna cover, it's 400 maybe uh, linear feet of 0.6 gallons per hour, uh, 12 inch spacing. So it'll be about four gallons per minute, maybe five, uh, you never know. But again, this valve with this filter pairs up to address the issue of the need for the particular drip zone that we're gonna go ahead and utilize it for. Mm. So all your sizing needs to be done appropriately. On this one does happen to have a couple reducers here to get us down to three quarter inch pipe, which are gonna go in there for the install to make everything down to three quarter inch like so. Um, again, so these are just two of the valves that we use, um, two of the main valves that we use, and you just gotta know the right valve for the right application. If you mix things up, the drip zone will fail and will lead to problems. Another uh, important component is installing an ARV, air relief valve, as well as a, a clean out. Could be a figure eight or a TLSOV in a round valve box. So just a couple components of drip irrigation, two different valves, two different functions, but each drip system will succeed on its own. And um, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, where can you go for information? Well, I know the internet, but where in particular? Uh, EnviroscapeLA.com okay. is uh, a wealth of information as well as Rainbird. Okay, and then Rainbird has uh, online uh, rainbird.com information on uh, your square footage. Like you said, there's some algebra involved. Yeah, so being an installer, these numbers, they kind of just roll off you know, the, the tip of my tongue here, and I have all that kind of my memory bank as far as what we're going to use. But Rainbird does have several calculators you go ahead and use uh, for square footage, and drip tubing, and so on and so forth. Okay. So there is a wealth of information out there. Thank you so much. Lots of stuff.